everyone, it's Karen. I'm hanging out in the craft room, as you know. Today we are uh, still feeling spring and we are gonna do a two-tier planter. I made one for my mantle and uh, one of my friends really liked it, so she would like me to make her one. So I'm gonna do a video on that today. So the supplies you will need um, are uh, tins. These little garden planter tins I got at um, Dollar Tree. When I do see them there, I buy a few at a time because I constantly seem to be doing projects with them. For this project, I'm going to use one this size. You can use both to tear up like this, uh, but the one I wanted for inside was smaller. And I purchased one at uh, Dollarama for $3. So a little bit more money, um, but it does fit nicely inside. I've already splashed some paint on that, which we will talk about in a bit. Um, also today I'm using a glue gun. I did purchase a new glue gun. It does have a cord. Um, when I say I want things, my husband does a little bit of research and figured that the cord one was better. Um, and I love that it has a very small tip on the end. Very happy with my new purchase. I'm also going to use some white glue today. Um, any kind is fine. I'm using uh, Weld Bond. Uh, I'm going to use a little bit of black paint my glue sticks, and I have a variety of floral um, that as we go through, I'll discuss where I purchased, but it's a combination of Dollar Store and Walmart. Michael's has some fantastic and beautiful flowers out right now. I was just there the other day and completely overwhelmed. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't even decide. So I just stuck with what I know uh, from the Dollar Store, saving a little bit of money with that. So let's get started with today's planter. Like I said, I used one of the doll, um, tins from Dollar Tree. These are only $1.25. Everything in their store is $1.25 unless marked. Um, and I purchased a lot of these. So I've already put a little bit of white paint on it. Not perfectly. You can leave yours in the tin color. Um, I prefer the white for this project. Like I said, I also purchased the smaller one. Uh, it has a pattern on the front. Uh, you can kind of see it there, birds and flowers, which you can accentuate or you can just go with the plain side, either or. You're not going to really see the second tier as much. So with, uh, with my tin, I've already painted it white. I did try to rush it along a little bit and use a heat gun. And uh, my experience with heat gun and tin is you're gonna really you have to be really careful with that so a hair dryer is probably better for drying I just uh, waited till these were a little bit dry so we could start okay so I'm just gonna take a little bit of black paint and I'm gonna go along the edge of my planter here the bottom edge really really rough just so it looks a little bit more like those French uh, that French white and black look. So just around the top edge. And you're not going to see too much of the detail when you put the planner together. I also like to do the side like that. And along the back. across the bottom, up the side. This is nothing that really needs to take a lot of time. Um, like I'm literally just wiping it on. It does not need to be perfect. You may want to take a little bit more time if you uh, want it to, to be a little straighter, a little bit uh, less messy like mine. Also, this one has um, some words on the front, and I do want to show those a little bit and just kind of, so I put a little paint on my brush, dab some of it off, and I'm just going to lightly swipe, as you can see, over my words and a little bit beyond. I'm going to go over here, a little paint, dab it off. You don't want too much on there, and very lightly when you first put the paint on for sure doesn't need to be anywhere in particular. Oh, I got a couple smudges here that 
look like they are kind of on purpose. So I'm going to go a little bit more there. Okay, so this is kind of the look I'm going for. You can see I kind of did a few dark smudges there. If you, let the, if you don't like that, you can let it dry. Add a little bit of white over top. Like I say, absolutely nothing we can't fix. I'm also going to do the other side. I don't really know where this planter is going to be um, in terms of another person's house. So they may want the back side done as well. Um, and you can also use a little bit of paper towel if you find your smudges are a little bit too much. A um, little bit of paper towel and wipe it. Okay, so there we go. Uh, I did have a little bit of water too to dab. I don't even... Oh, here it is right there. I didn't know where that one went. That's for my... Wash my brushes. Sometimes I'll just... When I want to smear a little bit. All right. Okay. And uh, like I said, a lot of it won't be seen once we have our floral in it. So this is where we come into, um, I think I forgot to mention at the beginning, we need some foam. Um, different size foam for inside your planter. So I apologize for not saying that earlier. Uh, this is where we're going to use our well bond and our hot glue gun. Now, with hot glue, most of us know that it's kind of a temporary thing, not necessarily long term. And uh, especially in different temperatures, that it doesn't always stay stuck. So when I put my foam in, I'm going to use some of the white glue for a longer term um, adhesive. And the glue gun is going to hold it right now so that we can work. So in this, I do have a little bit of space on either side. So I do have a... A small block but I also have another big block for this one and it doesn't quite touch the bottom and because I want to glue it to the bottom I'm going to cut a bit of it off. So these I just got a Dollar Tree, um, Dollar twenty-five each. Got foam, uh, the large ones and then they also have these small ones with packs of four so you can fill your spaces if you want. Like I said this one doesn't quite fit the way I want it to. So I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and cut a chunk off. There we go. Cut a little chunk off. So now this one will fit great in here. Let me go this way. Yeah, that will fit better. Sometimes you just need to turn it because they're not perfectly square. Now this one I'm going to cut uh, a couple little pieces out of. Cut it in half. And I can use this to, f to fill in my other ones. Because you definitely, in the bottom one, want some sponge at the ends. So we'll squeeze those ones in. So what I'm going to first do is with my... I'm going to do the white glue first. As we know, the hot glue dries quickly. So you want to work a little bit faster with that. So we're going to just put some, a little bit of white glue on, a little bit of hot glue, just so it doesn't wiggle while we're trying to put our floral in, and press it in like that. I'm just going to get another glue stick on here already glowing earlier and this looks like it just needs a little bit more taken off to fit in better. I am once again using um, the puppy pad on my table. Uh, some of you reached out and said that you really appreciated that idea so that's fantastic. I'm, I'm glad we could help with that. This I'm going to put some on the side and bottom. Uh, and just to wedge it to the the block that's next to it as well. So there we go. This one's poking up just a bit. I'm just gonna cut a little bit off the top there. And 
Same with this side piece, just gonna cut a little bit on. Gotta love the sound of foam. And it is quite, all these little bits are quite messy. And then, as usual, making a mess in the craft room. That's what I do. Uh, so some glue on the side, glue on the bottom. Glue on the side, glue on the bottom. There we go. So that one is set to go. You see gloves of glue. Doesn't matter. We're putting flowers in there. They're prettier all up. This one, um, the top one, also going to put my glue on. Now the top one, not as necessary to have it filled right to the sides. The bottom one, yes, because we're putting this on top. And it's more the outside that we're going to see. So we're going to have this in there like that. Okay. I'm actually going to turn it so we don't see the birds. So on my bottom one, my larger one from Dollar Tree, I'm going to add some more glue. White glue for long term, hot glue for short. top like that. So now we have our two tiers. Okay. Put my exacto away. Move some of the crumbs on my puppy pad to the other side. You can actually even just fold it up and shake it into the garbage and then continue on. So with my two tier planter spring, I like to start with some greens first. And I do have um, a few greens. These ones are quite pretty and they're from Walmart, so a little bit more expensive. I find though sometimes when you go to um, Dollarama, n nothing really is a dollar there. So there, when you check your prices, really check because sometimes you'll be paying for a really not so nice um, flower or green that if you go to Walmart, you could probably get it for the same price or Michael's with your coupon, or their half price sale, whatever. So just beware, buyer beware, right? So I've got these really nice little pretty ones that I got at Walmart with long stems. I happen to have this old fern piece. Uh, I've got a bunch of them around, so i kind of been using them here and there in my pieces, just cutting some off. I also have this little grass. I may or may not use today. I'm going to see how that goes. So we're going to start with the greens. I do have um, my snips with me and just snipping off a piece of this fern. You can get some better looking ferns for sure. I've had some in the past um, really hit and miss. When you find them, grab them because they're hard to get. And I'm just going to stick one in the top here. Let's just turn this bit so you can see in the top a bit there. This is going to be a little bit awkward for me working the other way, so bear with me. Now when I cut this, that you can see that there's um, layers to this one, so I'm just going to pull a layer off and pull another layer off. So I've even just got one and I can stick this in the bottom here like that. I know it looks kind of dorky right now, kind of odd, but once we get our floral in there, that's just a nice little bit on the side. So we'll just move those out of the way. So these, these have multiple little branches on them. So you can cut it and use the whole thing, or you can cut smaller pieces like I'm going to do and have them in a variety of, of places for your floral. These are uh, the nice thing with artificial flowers too. You can bend them, and twist them, and put them where you like. And I'm going to put this one here. I do like the greens coming out the sides. And 
in the front one. Come up the front there. I don't know if I'm quite hitting the foam, but it's in there good and tight. And let's pull this tag off. And this is just a short little bit, but I don't want to waste it. And he's going to give me trouble cutting. So I just kind of wiggle it back and forth until it cuts. I don't have the strongest uh, wrist since surgery, but definitely steadier than it used to be. So that's good. And then we're just going to stick this right there. So we've got a few grains happening. I'm going to add a couple more. And then I'll probably save some for closer to the end to see where we are at. And we can even bend that over like that. All right. So this is kind of the exciting part is the floral. I've got these nice little pink ones here, I believe at Dollar Emma. And they're gonna give us some of the pink. I also got one in white because they didn't have a lot of the pink. So like I did with my greens, I don't wanna just clump them all in, in one spot. So I'm going to snip a bit off. And I like these little flowers, especially for the sides like that. Completely up to you what you like. It looks kind of funny right now that we don't have a lot in there. That's okay. As we go along, we add, we change. Nothing we can't fix, so we can always add more. Take some out. So I've used one of those. I'm going to use my white one now. And as you snip, you don't even have to worry about taking some of those tags off. This one's a bit shorter stem. I should have made it a little bit longer, but that's okay. I'm just going to put it right there, I think. Bend it a little bit. And because I want one with a longer stem, I'm going to cut it further down. There we go. Put that there. And I'm going to save some of the pink and white for later to fill as needed. Now, these flowers are absolutely gorgeous. This one I got at Walmart and I absolutely love this. It's a three flower one. The leaves on it are pretty. You don't need to take them off because sometimes the leaves are pretty thick, kind of like these guys here, but we'll fill it up so we don't see them as much. I also got some uh, some of these from, I think this was Dollar Tree or Dollarama, just a bunch, a little bunch. Uh, these ones from Dollarama, uh, this little rose bunch was $3. So yeah, like I said, you got to watch pricing, but I do get four flowers out of it with some nice leaves. So I'll definitely be using those. Um, this one was a good score at Dollarama. I think it's a beautiful big blossom. Three dollars though, and you just get the two flowers, but beautiful and makes a statement on them. Now these little guys, if you're in Dollarama and you see some packaged ones like this, it's a Gabriel Daisy, dollar twenty-five, and you think, hmm, dollar twenty-five, one little stinky little thing, but when you pull it, when you take the plastic off, it's really a pretty flower. Like it's not as fake as some of their other ones look. Um, so I do like that one. And this one also was a nice, pretty score. So I find you really have to dig in uh, Dollarama for your flowers. Get down on your knees, bend, find what you want to find. Um, but like I said, lots of other places to go as well. So I am going to start with this great big blossom. I'm going to pull the tag off. Now this has nice too, and I do want it to have some height. So I am gonna cut it a bit lower. I should, probably should have got some of my bigger snips as well. As you watch me struggle. <laughs> now I am just throwing this into the foam, so I'm not using um, glue at this time. You can if you wish, I don't find it necessary. You may wanna change them out and the, um, the foam block is in there. So I'm just gonna straighten this guy out a bit turn the, the bloom a bit to the front. There we go. Quite, quite pretty. Okay, and the other tall 
balloon. Well, we have a few here. Um, I will use this, this gorgeous, this one, I love this one. I actually, I had one in mine and I loved it and I thought if I see it, I'm gonna grab another one. So when I was asked to do this planter, I made sure I got one. And I got another one um, for myself, which as you can see, is just right up there right now. Don't know when I'm gonna use it, but right now it looks cute up there. So, also I would like this to be a tall. Uh, that way your centerpiece has some height to it. It's two tier, I'm still using the top tier for these. And you're definitely gonna wanna play around with some of the branches. They've been cooped up, they've been pushed against other flowers in boxes, that kind of thing. You can pull some of these off if you need to, or put them back on, whatever you like. So I don't like that that's standing straight up there. So there we go. This one is so beautiful. There we go. So as you can see, we have some height happening, but we definitely need to fill. So we're gonna use some of our, you could plunk them all in in one spot. You can divide them up. I'm going to just take one or two at a time because I may wanna put them together. So also remembering to put a few in your bottom part of your planter. And I'm not too keen on having each side match. It is a planter. You want it a little bit more natural looking. Um, this would be lovely in, um, in an outdoor, on your porch or your mantle or anything. So this one here, I've had the tag on. I was about to rip it off. And then I saw the green, the greens part. So let's rip this tag off. When you're using these greens, you can push them up, continue to use them like right next to the flower, further down, or you can take them off completely. Uh, that one I have further down, that one I have further down. So I'm just going to, and just give yourself some space on that stem to bend it the way you want. This one I'm gonna take it right off. There we go. And I feel like I need a bit more pink over here. There we go, just peeking out. Okay, I'm gonna go to my $3 bouquet of white roses. These were sold all together. As you can see, the craft table does get messy. So these ones have a nice, good stem on them already. Not, not the big bulky one at the bottom, so you can choose. Give it a little bend. Poke it in. Seem to have a lot of roses happening over there with different colors. So some of them are have a little bit of the pink, some of the white. It's a beautiful combination. It's just coming out the side there. There we have that. We have a few more flowers here. I feel like I'm running out and not quite full, but it will come together. So we just, we have this gap right here. We want to start filling up that a little bit. And the nice thing about the floral, we don't want them all um, facing the front. So we're going to have some going up like that. Um, the nice thing with the floral is if you put a few flowers in, you don't like how it looks, you can pop them on back out and we do them. So here's another beautiful blend of flowers. I am going to cut them apart uh, because I don't want them all clumped. This one may actually keep a few together to fill in that spot, but this one I'm going to have down here. And I'm going to cut it a bit shorter so it's not the same height as that white rose. There we go. That looks a bit better there. 
So these two are left, but I've got this great big long bulky, so I am going to cut it down here. And this is another one that I'm going to bend a bit. Just be careful for flying pieces. So I hope you're all enjoying this spring. It's definitely different as we are uh, a year into COVID that you're finding things to do. I, I would love for you to share some of your ideas, some of the things that you would like to see me make, um, help you through, because I, I love projects. So there we go, we're coming together. I have one more of these pink ones and I have one that I've already uh, found this was uh, from Dollar Tree, I think. So this one, I'm not really sure why they package them like this other than to make them look nice when they open, Dollar twenty-five. but the plastic part itself is right into the bottom part of the flower. So I'm not quite sure what their thought process was on that. I'm going to give that a little snip of plastic and just start ripping it. If anyone else has used these and knows a tip, see if I try to pull it down, it's still on the base of the flower. So just give it a good snip and just pull it away from the stem. So then it'll open up nicely for you. Uh, so I think I'm going to snip this one here. Like I said, it's a little bit hard for me to see what I'm doing here going from this angle. So I feel like I need some more back here. a little bit off to the side there like that there we go and the white one that I have left I still feel like I need a bit more in the middle so I'm gonna give this guy another snap and if this isn't quite enough I do have other little flowers around that I can fill some more spaces if I need to. You can also make it more full with a bit more of your ferns and greens, maybe some of the grass. You can even try a sprig of grass, see what it says. Onion grass, this I believe is from Dollar Tree, so $1.25. And you can actually break it apart. I did that for a window display at the thrift store in town, just broke it all apart. So we can put some of this onion grass in here. You can break it apart to look a little bit smaller, but just to help fill the back a little bit. And then you can pull some forward. Now I still do have oops, a few of my little pieces that I said I was saving in case I needed to, to fill some spots, which I feel I do. So now this has um, the long stem, but some of them shorter. And I did say before that I like to cut some off. I'm only going to cut one off this. I want one for the front. Just in here. And the pot I used for my mantle on the top was smaller. So I was able to snap into that foam a bit better uh, than I am right now. And even you can even bend these right down to give and if you don't like something you can move it these white guys are getting a little bit scrunched so there we go and the remainder of these pink I want to help fill in some of this spot there but I don't want it to be too too short so you can always cut and then if it's too tall cut some more it's harder to go back the other way, isn't it? So, I do have a few helpers under my desk here. Um, and they are well behaved at the moment. So, as you can see, that's too tall. That's not looking quite right. That's way okay. I'm gonna snip some more off. spread them apart there but I just wanted to keep that long stem so that I had something in there um, same with some of this I'm going to cut 
cut a piece off of this like I did with the other one, but I'm going to keep some, oops, sorry, keep some of the tall. Pull the tag off. Just so that I can fill in some of these spots. So I think that needs to still be shorter. Love, love, love to hear what everyone is doing. I do have a few other little um, Easter crafts, and I like to keep them easy and inexpensive. Especially, not especially always, but um, during these COVID, this COVID period, I think it's extra important. Now I'm feeling like I'm kind of missing something in here. This little guy is getting missed. It's okay if you have some flowers next to each other. Looks a little bit more natural. I am kind of losing this one in the back that I really like. So I'm going to perhaps move this guy over. He's still in the same spot in the palm. Just gonna move him over a bit and see how that works out. You may now hear some snoring coming from underneath my table. I assure you, these dogs are pretty happy. So, here's where we're at so far. Hope you're really liking it. I have a couple more pieces here, so I'm going to take a look. Do you want to fill in the bottom planter as well? Not so keen on this guy sticking straight out. Mm -hmm. And back. He's not as natural looking, he's a little bit more plastic, so you kind of really want to blend those in with some of these nicer flowers for sure. And you do want to have it so it's nice from the sides if you're walking past wherever it is. You may even want it um, to fill up both sides. I'm just using a minimal amount of flowers for this. I still have this little white sprig here. I think we have some big flowers, so I want to just add a little, soften it up with a little. So, that's my mess here. Here is my two tier planter for the spring. I really hope you like it. Hope you enjoyed uh, trying one at your place i would uh, like i said absolutely love to hear from you if you made this show me a picture of what you've done um, show me whatever spring things you have on the go or send me a line and i'll uh, see what else i can come up with for you have a great day take care everyone